Good morning. So today's been a very slow start, a very leisurely start into the day. I've just finished off my morning routine. Liz and I got in the gym this morning, did a little bit of exercise. It's been an absolutely beautiful weekend. The weather was incredible. And Liz and I went out into the garden and we worked our socks off. I think Liz actually vlogged it as well on her channel. So um, if you want to go and see that, you can head over to there. But we just did lots and lots of tidying up in the garden, getting it ready so it just felt cleaner and tidier out there. It felt like a massive success. And I think that just took a lot of energy out of us. We ended up getting a little bit overtired, if that's the thing, and uh, we had quite a late night and I think the knock-on effect meant that we felt a little bit slower, should we say. I'm completely fine with that, as long as I'm getting my stuff done then that's absolutely fine. I was actually talking the other day to my friend Mark Whittle, who's the guy that we do the Take Flight podcast with. He meditates and I'm somebody that's very skeptical with things like meditation. I watched a video about it and I liked the way in which it was explained, the reasons behind it. It's not something that you actually have to believe in. As far as I understand it, it's something that just works because all humans have a voice in our heads and sometimes that voice can get a little bit noisy and as it's chattering away, meditation helps just silence the noise, I guess, and bring an element of calmness and stillness. And they used a really lovely analogy. They basically said, on the surface of the ocean, the waves are the active mind and that's our thoughts. And at the bottom of the ocean, it's naturally silent and completely still. And that's the analogy that they use to explain how our brains work. So our brains are naturally still and the voices in our heads are the active surface. So meditation just helps you reach to the naturally silent and still aspects of your brain and just allows you to be present and aware of the conscious moment. Might sound all a little bit deep, but to me it kind of just made sense. I'm somebody that definitely overthinks. I'm definitely somebody that has a very active mind. When I lay in bed at night, I literally just can't switch off. I'm just like brrr, a billion miles per hour. So um, it's something that I might adopt. And as I'm feeling a little bit more calm and relaxed at the moment, um, it's something that I might start implementing into my mornings every now and then. But I have been told that before I do, make sure that I have the right tuition. You can book in to have one-on-one -on -one classes, which obviously I won't be able to do at the moment, but in the future, I will be able to do so. So today we are going to be shooting a creative photo shoot, which is focused around a new concept that I'm bringing to AliGordon.net, which for any of you that don't know, that's my blog that I've recently started posting to again, which I'm really happy about because I feel like I neglected it for a very, very long time, but it's had a reface and I'm just treating it like a fresh start over on the blog. I'm just building up some concepts around it and something that I'm really interested in and I always find myself talking about are documentaries, whether it's Netflix, Amazon Prime, Apple TV, Sky Atlantic, etc. So to start off, I'm going to be running some series over on the blog where I talk about a couple of episodes that I personally have really enjoyed watching that I would recommend for you guys to check out. I'm going to try and keep them aligned with one another. So there's similarities between the program, but obviously there are differences as well. To kick things off, the first episodes that are gonna be featured on my blog are Tell Me Who I Am and Three Identical Strangers. And if any of you have watched those, you'll know that they're fantastic docs. And there are many messages that I took from each of the documentaries. And something that I want to incorporate into the blog is taking elements of the documentaries and implementing them into daily life and how many of us will experience certain feelings and emotions that are associated with some of the messages that are within these Netflix documentaries. So as the documentaries come out and I start featuring them on my blog, obviously different emotions and different topics will be covered. But this week, it's all about feeling a little bit lost, a bit confused, a little bit in the dark. And so that's kind of like the key message that I'm gonna be talking about over on the blog alongside basically promoting these two documentaries for you guys to go and check out if you haven't already. If you wanna know what I have to say on those subjects, then make sure you head over to alligordon.net. That will be up there. It's going up every Monday and these vlogs will now be going up every Wednesday. So I'm gonna have more of a routine to my video structure as well as to my blog. Um, so hopefully that makes it a little bit easier to kind of like track when I post and hopefully want to keep on top of my content. Today's shoot is obviously inspired by that kind of like emotion. And what I'm trying to create is a image that has a visual representation of what I'm gonna be talking about. So essentially both the programs as mentioned have twins in them. So 
obviously there needs to be two of me in the photo. And I think that the way in which I'm going to portray the image is I want to make sure that I kind of play a little bit into tell me who I am with the twins and one of them is kind of in the light and in the know and the other one is very confused and lost and in the dark and they're reaching out for guidance and help from the twin that is in the know. Now that will all make sense if you've watched it or if you go along and watch it. But that is the kind of like creative concept that I've got. And I'll show you in a second how we're gonna be implementing that into a photo. Sorry if I'm doing a really bad job of explaining this. It feels very simple and together in my head, but when I'm talking about it, it feels a lot more complicated. But essentially I'm gonna be interpreting a guy that's outside, sort of in the wet, in the dark, and then another guy that's standing inside in the dry and is kind of like more conscious and aware of his self and his life. So, Probably quite a lot to, to take in just then, but I'm gonna get busy selecting two outfits because obviously I need to be wearing two different looks for this shoot. And then we'll go downstairs. I'll show you the setup that I prepared yesterday for the shoot. And then we will go through the photo shoot and then you'll be able to see the images on my Instagram, which more than likely promoted this video. So you've already seen them. I've just made my way downstairs into the basement and this is where, as you can see behind me, I have today's shot set up and it's gonna be playing around with some light gels, a little bit of plexiglass. We're gonna be using the dark wall at the back of the room to give the illusion of the outdoors and nighttime and stuff like that. So I'll quickly talk you through the vision and then we'll get busy creating. So this is the camera that I'll be using today. It's the Sony a7R Mark II. I'm going to be using the inbuilt timer. It's a 10 second timer and does five shots. I'm gonna be shooting these in raw. Uh, and then if we take a look over here, I'm using a three light setup. So this white light at the front here is just gonna be giving a natural light which will cast across my face when I'm standing in front of the perspex. And then if you look at the back, you'll see there's a blue and green gel, which creates a nice turquoisey color. And then an orange gel over here on this other light. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be spraying water onto the plexiglass. And then I'm gonna be standing the other side of it, looking in, trying to get the attention of myself that's gonna be standing inside in the dry. And then the light that's gonna be casted across onto the perspex will create a nice street style feel. It's kind of trying to incorporate two environments in one photo, and I think that the plexiglass or the perspex, whatever it's called, is what's going to really help aid that. And if you look at the top, I had to actually drill some holes and hang them on chains so I could get this elevated off of the ground. And I've used quite a lot of weights at the bottom to keep that stable. So this boom tripod is um, being pushed to its limits right now. But I'm gonna get busy doing this shoot. So I'd like to try and take another couple of photos as well. And so yeah, wish me luck. I've got a spray bottle of water, the light is set up. I'm gonna spray it around the backside actually, I think. So that gives a nice balanced coverage, but we wanna create a raindrop. So what I tend to do is I get the bottle nice and close, and you'll see, creates a nice bit of droppage. Lovely job. So I've just finished off shooting the first sort of like scene. Is it a scene? Yeah. So I've stuck on a brown roll neck and then I put on a Oliver Sweeney overcoat. I've also grabbed myself an umbrella and this is where I'm gonna be standing the other side of the Perspex glass, kind of like looking in. And I've got rid of my foreground light now. So that's been switched off and we've just left on the two lights that are casting a nice balanced light across the rainwater. So I'm just gonna cover myself a little bit with some rainwater just to make it look a little bit more realistic. Hopefully we'll get a little glisten off the jacket as well, which will be really nice. Stage two of the shoot. I'm not sure if you could see that correctly behind the um, perspex, but you can see now I've got that wet look going on. some of the photos that I've been taking. Wow, I'm very out of breath. I'm definitely getting older, oh we're bright. So I've just been running up and down the stairs packing up all of that equipment. That was quite a heavy setup, I'm not gonna lie, it's probably one of the 
largest setups that I've ever put together. Shooting solo isn't the most convenient of practices. I do find it hard just to like simple things like pulling focus and making sure that the shots are in focus when I'm shooting can be quite frustrating because it'll be like the tip of your nose is in and then your eyes start going a bit blurry and it's like Ugh, so close but so far. So um, that's one of the biggest challenges I think I face. And then the second challenge is the lighting setup because when you've not got a subject to actually see how the light is hitting them, it becomes really challenging. But I feel like I'm making good progress and I'm kind of like getting used to it a little bit. So I'm going to get the photos loaded up on the computer and uh, see how they've come out basically, start editing them. And this evening, who knows? I think um, Lid and I are probably just going to sit down and do what we do best, which is enjoy a good old Netflix doc. Your light's going to keep me company, don't you? Your light's going to keep me company. Where's your little ear? It's looking better. Come up here, Lids. Why? Because I've finished editing today's photo pretty much. It's looking good. I really like this hard white line that's running down. Get a good day. Oh yeah, that's the spot. Look at this little <laughs> sporty spice. I'm impressed. I was wearing lots more clothes, but I got, oh. <laughs> I got very hot. You look like a Calais girl. Do I? Hello. I need new shorts, and I'm I'm not sure on like how to wear them because they feel. Like no, I think how you wear them was sexy. All oh, right. Well, I was wearing a, a big fluffy jumper, but I got too hot. I was oh. trying a new class online. Any good? I really liked it. Really I can't liked believe how brown you are. I've faked hand today. No. Oh. I need to probably shower it off. I need a fake tan. Um, I need a real tan. Yeah, I really liked it, but um, it's a LA, no, New York. <laughs> got LA in your head now, haven't I? Yeah, no, it's a New York based thing. And so in the classes are live. Right. Um, so that was a live class I just did. But if obviously in their timings, I wouldn't be able to get up at 6 a.m. and do a class. Yeah, which and is And it's a 30 shame. pounds a month or 300 quid a year. Yeah. So you'd kind of want to, I'd want to be able to do 6 a.m. classes. Sorry, I know your yeah. vlog doesn't matter. No, no, no. Like, that's... Someone said record the class, but I want, I want it to be a live class, so I have to get up. Yeah, you want to be forced. Not yeah. You don't want to have to make the decision. You want the decision to be made for you. Yeah, so do you want to show me? Oh, yeah, you want to see my video, uh, my picture from today. Um, you ready? This is your reaction. Ready? Yeah. Close your eyes. Oh my God, babe. Good. What the How the hell did you do that? It's clever, isn't it? Lots of hard work. Wow. And you were stressing over this. No, stressing trying to produce it. Babe, that is insane. I we should get that framed. <laughs> I'm not I'm not joking. That's the before. What's the before? Show me. After. There. I mean it's not a huge amount of editing, is it? Yeah. Shit loads, I spent about ages no, but I on mean, here. Like, yeah. You've actually taken an insane picture, you've lit it insanely, yeah, and all you've had to do is get work. rid of the stuff in the background. And then tomorrow, Raw's gonna help blend that picture there, Yeah. and that picture there together. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. So it's like the man outside. Yeah. I'm showing you this other guys. This was my like five second edit of me. This is actually what we shot. This is what we shot today. So I just quickly stitched this together and uh, my friend Rahul, who owns this jewelry brand here, he said that he wants to have a go at stitching these together for me because he absolutely loves using gels. And so he asked, because he saw me shooting gels, if he could edit whatever it was I was shooting. So I was like, you sure can. Um, so I stitched this together just as an example um, as to like how I want the images blending together. This is super rough. So like all of the top bit we'll obviously get rid of, which is obviously what was holding up the perspex. And then down the bottom, that all needs blending in properly and grading. So yeah, you can visually see what it was that I was working on downstairs for all that time. Pretty cool, huh? What's for dinner then? Um, my slow cooked dish. Ooh, lovely. Oh, is this what we smelt yesterday? Yeah. You got bay leaves in there? No, that's your spinach. Ah, oh, nice. I've, I've started to enjoy this side grater now, rather than the, the normal one we use. Yeah. Because it's like, 
it's smaller, thinner, which means it melts better. Oh, I'm not really into like melted cheese. Barely some for the boss. Otherwise there will be trouble. A snack. <laughs> pepper? Got pepper. That's delicious. Is it? That's really nice. Really? Yeah. Pinky swear? I pinky swear. Do you know what you could have done? What? Added a little bit of spice. It didn't say to add any spice to no, it. No, I know, but and I'm, I'm just into I'm my not, spice at the minute. I'm not really into spice. I can add a bit of spice. Mm. What sort of spice would you add when you're adding your own spice? You what wouldn't sauce? use chipolate, would you? Chipotle? Yeah. Chipolate. <laughs> That'd be nice. A little bit of Tabasco in the mix. Can you just add some chilli flakes? Yeah, could have done, yeah. Would you like to tell the people what your idyllic plan is this morning? I just thought it was a nice morning and that someone's coming through the trees and... It's going behind the clouds. So, tell them what you want to do. I'm going to go for a walk in the garden. In your dressing gown. Where's the morning light? So this is the uh, favourite flower bed of mine actually because it gets really full in the summer and these were pruned right back. They're kind of like this size here and over the last week they've just started growing their spouts. Going to be a big boy that will be. This one here is huge. I might have to trim that down a little bit. We've had a slug on the job. There you go, that's what they were looking like. They were looking like this, but smaller. And they're slowly opening up. Beautiful. This little bad boy's uh, not gonna make it, I don't think. This red one's really big as well, actually. Your lavender. The basement is under renovation, isn't it? It's currently being designed, but I mean, it looks a lot better. Yeah. These stairs are going to probably be painted white, aren't they? Yeah. New floor and walls. Yeah. And then a little bit of uh, Lydia Millen home shajaz? Shajaz? Shajizzle. Ooh, chisel. Jazzle. Zhuzhing. <laughs> Zhuzh. Yeah, that's what I was going with. Do you want to come and have a look see the frogs are there? Yeah. Put them in a little bowl of water that they like, seem to. Is this your makeup pond? Yeah. This is the Christmas tree that's been growing for years and hasn't changed in height. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> oh dear. I can't wait for my shed to arrive. Well, we can show everybody's linky tree. Oh yeah, where is it? Just here. So when we um, came to the realization that Lynx wasn't coming back, we planted a birch wood in the woodland. Oh, it's a lot. Yeah, I'll go in there and actually see it. So it's this little tree here. So you wanted something that was like, it's a silver birch, isn't it? Yeah. So you wanted something that was like whitey silvery. Because obviously that's what Lynx's coat was. And we also wanted quite a fast grower. So this seems to be the little bad boy. That's grown quite well. Since we've been here, we have planted 12 trees, I think it is. Not bad going, is it? No. I think you worked it out to a what did you say, two a month? Yeah, two a month, two trees a month. So we've done 24 trees. I think we should continue to plant them. Maybe we should make Oh, we've must have done more because I've not counted all the ones that, the smaller trees that Gramps yeah, has put in. The ones that, um, not the plants, but I'm on about the trees. I counted the one that, that he, Aaron's put in. I think that we in. should say to Aaron, we want to plant a tree every month. Yeah, we'll have to find out how that works though. Yeah. So the cow parsley in the woodland is currently about four foot. It gets so high. I mean, some areas are obviously smaller than others. It's only a few foot here, but further in, it gets super high. The house looks so much nicer when the sun is setting up there. <laughs> what, because the sun goes behind it? Yeah. I'm just really excited about the rose bush coming yeah, out that because. Is looking healthy. <laughs> yeah, it's really wrapped over, hasn't it, this yeah. year? So, 
There's no budge yet though, is there? Uh, yeah, yeah. Where? Oh yeah. Ooh. And then on the wall, the pink stuff started to slowly yeah. come out. You can only just see it here. Slowly starting to come out and all of the kind of like purple, purple ones. purple ones are going, aren't they? Well, they kind of think, and then when it rained again, they started coming out again. Yeah, they're like, oh, my yeah. time's not up. Yeah, my time's shine. <laughs> um, but yeah, this archway is going to look stunning. Yeah, really yeah. looking forward to that. We planted these two trees here because we wanted something that was a little bit um, heavier and stronger. So this will grow up. It will also cover uh, the gas mains coming in and just also help hide the hose pipe and stuff. But as these grow up and grow bigger, they will also survive, which every other plant fails to survive, the bat poo. <laughs> because the bats have just started to... Uh, come out of do they, do they go into hibernation yeah it feels literally. like they go into hibernation because there's no poo at the moment and then in the summer this is literally like a bed of poo I don't know this is what Linky's tree is going to be like oh it could be the cat scratch couldn't it the cats could scratch this as their little scratch post maybe or somebody may be able to tell me differently as to why I've got a little chunk out my silver birch there is also evidence of a squirrel this is a little bit of corn from the cornfield. He's left his uh, rubbish in the bed. Good morning, so we're back at the desk. Today I'm gonna be continuing my editing from yesterday's shoot. But today is Friday, and in particular, it's Fat Friday. So this morning, it's terrible really. I had chocolate for breakfast, I've ordered a Domino's for lunch, and then this evening, Lids and I are getting a burger and chips to take out, and we're gonna enjoy a drink. So yeah, it's a completely bingy Friday, but I'm here for it, so I'm gonna enjoy that. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get busy now editing, and uh, hopefully finish off a blog post worth of photos, for obviously promoting the Netflix stuff that we mentioned earlier on in the video. And uh, yeah, that'll be a Friday well done. This camera's focus is unbelievably bad. Oh, have you done the firmware update? No. Why don't you try that? So Lids and my pizza have arrived. We are going big today. Oh yes. Texas barbecue. So we've had a little change of plan. It's still Fat Friday, but it's not burger Fat Friday. Cheese or pasta sauce. Cheese, it's, it's broccoli and cheese pasta bake. Broccoli, cheese, pasta bake. So it's Still pretty naughty, but it's not the burger, is it? It's not a burger, but I, well, actually I didn't really fancy a burger, did you? I felt pretty gross after that Domino's. So, I think we're going to sit down, finish off that pasta. Yes. Like little piggies. And then just chill this evening, because tomorrow Lydia wants to do something in one of the guest bedrooms. In both of them. I don't want to say the word. I don't want to have any involvement in it. <laughs> you are having I'm not a part of this. You are a part of this. I don't want to have them. <laughs> Any involvement in this. Ali's always a part of everything. I don't want to be a part of this. I really don't. But anyway, something's happening tomorrow in the guest bedrooms, which I'm not advocating. <laughs> but it's going to happen anyway. But what I do want to do is down in the basement, uh, I want to have a big sort out of one of the cupboards because I'm starting to accumulate a lot of photography equipment, lights, setups, tripods, etc. And I need someone to store it. So that is a job for me whilst Lydia gets busy in the guest bedroom. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Cool, so that's tomorrow. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, I'll leave a link to that blog post, obviously in the description box below and all the other relevant links. Peace. Mm -hmm.